Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's Zinbel made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney plains. That was her world, like this one, barren and lonely. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to the Netherlands. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy, and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel. A she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. She will pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, leaving him dead. sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son who is sinful. Just. 
greatest deception. How does he so effortlessly court the world in bliss? If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I, I watched you and... You... Learned all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, and don't tell them. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death.
And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund soon... Where is it? Find, Find it. it. There it is. Focus. Focus. 